Hi, it's Susie Isfan again with Social Susie Designs. I am going to show you how to use my favorite free um, photo display plugin um, to make really cool and effective thumbnail galleries for your images that also will pop up into lightbox images. Super fancy, super fun. I use it with lots of clients. Um, it's called Next Gen Gallery. You may have heard of it before. It's really cool. I'm going to show you how to use it. So the first thing we're going to do is go over to plugins. And again, I said this on the other video, but I'm using the thesis theme. Um, everything I'm doing here should apply to whatever WordPress setup you're using, but I just want to give that disclaimer in case it looks different to you. So over on the left side, I'm going to go down to plugins, and I'm going to select add new. And we're going to search for and install the next gen gallery plugin. So I search for next gen gallery and there it is and I'm gonna install now and it has all next gen gallery is very, very cool. It has all kinds of different like optimizers and plugins and things you can add to it um, if you get really into using it and there's lots of really good documentation online. So I'm gonna activate the plugin. So while it's doing that, um, so unlike in the last video when I showed you um, that we, we kind of uploaded and did everything right in the post, instead we're going to go over to gallery. That's your next gen gallery. And you'll see there's like a whole bunch of stuff we can do. So um, when we open it up, so you're going to do all your kind of uploading and editing and adding to your galleries in this separate place, and then you'll just add the gallery to your post or your page. Um, so you can read through all this. There's all kinds of stuff going on. Um, I usually jump right to add gallery slash images if I want to create a new gallery. So remember, um, we're working with these posts that we, there are these pictures that we resized in the first video, and this is where it becomes really important. So if you didn't do that, go back and do that step, because it will just save you some headaches, and it'll make everything look nice and neat in a minute. So let's call this beauty work, because remember I'm using those free photos that I showed you before. So it's adding my gallery, and I'm going to upload those images that I have already resized, so I do not need to worry about what size they are. I know they all have the same width. And you'll see. Um, so I can scale the images, which depending on what you want to do, you know, you may want to do that, but I'm going to choose my beauty work gallery and I'm going to upload the images. And this takes a little while and you'll, um, I mean not that long, but you do need to wait a second while it gets all the images up into your gallery. Perfect. Um, Oh, and it's going to do, it's going to create new thumbnails for me, which is lovely. So you'll see in Next Generation Gallery or Next Gen Gallery that there is a whole bunch of stuff you can do, and that's because you can also create slideshows and there's all different effects you can add and all kinds of stuff. But today, we're just sticking to really straightforward thumbnail galleries with a pop-up feature. Um, so now I've uploaded images and I'm going to manage this gallery. And for us, it's going to be really easy because we only have one. But let's say you want a different gallery on every page um, or a different gallery on different blog posts. I know photography photographers who use this. Um, uh, I have a client that's a photographer and she uses a different gallery for every client. So you'll definitely, you know, can end up with quite a list going here. And you want to remember the ID number. And I'll show you that in a minute. You can always go back and check, but we're on number one. Easy to remember. So when I look at my beauty work, I just want to give you a little tour of what this looks like. Perfect. So you can add a description of your gallery. Um, you can um, have, you know, you can change all kinds of settings here. You can, you know, put it on a different page, all this stuff. So, but if, what I wanted to show you is that when you scroll down, you can see all of your images here. You can see that they are all 350 pixels wide because we did our homework before we started. You can change your title of your images here. You can add, um, your alt text here, which I really, really like. So let's say someone's going to pin your image. That alt text is, tends to be what the um, Pinterest defaults to. So think of what you would want to happen there. You can add tags. You can decide, oh, I don't really want this image to show up in a slideshow or in a gallery. Um, you can 
yeah, all kinds of stuff. You could rotate it. Let's say it came in sideways. So really play in here. You're not going to mess it up. There's all kinds of stuff. You could also um, delete things. You could add watermarks, all kinds of stuff. Again, we're not going to get into all this right now, but I just wanted you to see um, what it looks like. One thing you may use in here is sorting the gallery. So let's say you want them to go in a different order than they're in right now. And this I do do kind of frequently. I click sort gallery um, and I can actually move them around by drag and drop, all kinds of stuff. I can change it by ascending, descending, file name, all that stuff if you wanted to do it that way. And I can update the sort order. Perfect. Now I mentioned before that next gen gallery, like there's a lot you can do. You can do um, slideshows, you can do different kinds of displays, all of that, but, um, and you can just Google Next Gen Gallery and you'll come up with some great pages. This is what we're going to create right here. We're going to create this um, set of thumbnail, thumbnails in a gallery, which is beautiful. You will have the option, your viewer could view them as a slideshow if they wanted to, and they're going to pop up into a light box, which is just absolutely lovely. Notice in the light box, though, this is where the caption can end up. This is really great. Let's say you're um, a salon and you want to show off, you know, this is for X, Y, and Z wedding. This is a great place to put it. Or you want to say this was done by this particular stylist. Put it in here. Um, and that's right on that screen that I just showed you on the Manage Gallery screen. So I'm going to go back to my gallery. Again, not to be too terribly repetitive, but I just showed you a lot. So right down here is where you could add that, you know, this uh, was done by Amy, something like that. And you could say wedding hair. Okay, so I'm going to save my changes. And then we are going to, perfect, let's do this in a post this time. Let's add a new post. You can add it to an existing, wherever you want. Um, and let's say I want this to be my beauty work, just like last time. And instead of clicking Add Media or any of these other buttons, we're actually going to throw in a short code. And I find that short code right here. So again, I've Googled, this is actually the Next Gen Gallery um, homepage. You can see it's nextgen-gallery.com. And I'll put a link to this below um, the video so you can, you can go to that. Um, but I... This is how I remember what the short code is going to look like. So I don't have to add a gallery or upload photos or anything um, on the post page. All I need to do is add in that short code that I just copied. So next gen gallery ID equals X. And if you and I want to get rid of these little spaces. So no space before or after. And X is going to be the number of the gallery. Remember I told you to notice that. And ours was number one because it's the first one we have. And then I'm going to preview and see what happens. Um, sometimes when you add a video or, let's see, yep, this one works. So here we go, it's showing up as a blog post. We can show as a slideshow or we can click, isn't that gorgeous, beautiful. And we can move between them. And what I like is that we resized all of them so they were all 350 pixels wide. So even though the heights are changing, we're not getting some that are taking up the whole screen and some that are like micro. I love this plugin, I use it so much. I think it is so great and I love that it's free. So to get out of here, I'd hit escape. And then also if your reader wanted to just kind of um, see all of them as a beautiful slideshow, um, you can do that here, and it's pretty, and it's fun, but I'm going to do another video later on some fun um, slider and slideshow functions that you can add to your website. So um, that is it. I cannot wait to see what you create with either the WordPress gallery function or the NextGen gallery. I want you to post links in the comments so that we can show off all our beautiful galleries.